toss it. Like, just like that. Okay, now things are gonna get tricky. It smells like shit. <laughs> Do you feel sexy? True or false? The Ducks 8 inch pecker is barbed. Shut up. Show me the one you like to see. This one right here. Fastball. Who left this shit? Oh, wow. I have big ones. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Most home runs for the entire damn league. Cheers. Salute. Peter Morgan Alonso. Alonzo. Pete Alonzo. You've had a real amazing year. You probably can't believe it. Yeah. You won the Home Run Derby. This is your debut year. Mm -hmm. Do you guys use that term in baseball? Yeah. yeah you debuted yeah. in the major leagues. Broke the rookie home run record. So more home runs than any rookie. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But also set the most home runs for the entire damn league. Yeah, it was, uh, it was nuts. This year is just like justification of hard work, dedication, pretty much since I was three. So you can hack a challenge. Yeah. You probably feel like you're a big winner. And now you could turn into a big loser right now. That's okay. Yeah, you told me earlier that I was asking if you feel good and you told me that you believe that it's more important to feel sexy. Yeah. Do you feel sexy? I feel sexy. Man. He's got a lot of teeth, Pete. That's an alligator. <laughs> what kind of dog is this? Is that a corgi? Yes. Whose dog is this? Or what's his name? I got no clue. It's the world's greatest hunting dog. My brother's dog, Shifty. <laughs> what kind of birds is Shifty guarding right now? Those look like turkeys. Correct. In Colorado, the state says there's zero grizzlies, mm -hmm. yet people are always seeing grizzlies. So we're gonna show you a series of images of very hard to distinguish Black bears, grizzly bears. Okay. Are you looking at a black bear or a grizzly right now? Is that a black bear? Crap. All right. Were you asking me or telling me? What's this guy? Black bear or grizzly? I think that's a grizzly. Correct. Black bear or grizzly? Is that a grizzly bear? I don't know. That's a grizzly bear. You're tearing it up. You wouldn't make a good Colorado. Black bear or grizzly? I think that's a black bear. Correct. What piece of fishing equipment is it? This is, this is in case you bomb that. It's a bobber. Pete, <laughs> you're a genius. What animal is this? Is that a rabbit? Are you familiar with differencing rabbits and hares? So it's a hare. Snowshoe hare. Okay, now the second part of this. What way is it traveling? That's its hind legs, so it's traveling this way. No. What? Who left this shit? <laughs> it's a wild animal. It's not domestic. So it's not a cow. Is that elk? No, it's a bison. What kind of fish am I holding? It's a smallmouth bass. Yeah, good. What kind of fish is Giannis holding? Oh, Long tongue hell Giannis. yeah. Redfish. That makes you feel nostalgic for home? Oh, yeah. OK, now things are going to get tricky. What kind of fish are you holding? Rocky Mountain whitefish. What fin is that arrow pointing at? Is that a dorsal fin? A dorsal fin. What fin is that arrow pointing at? You got me. I'll give you a hint. I have big ones. <laughs> His pectoral fins, Pete. Oh. His pecs, Pete. Damn. Gets worse. Hey, what fin is that pointing at? This is pelvic fin. What fin is that pointing at? Get the hell out of here. His penis fin. Mm, close. His ventral fin. Ventral fin. Or is anal fin? Anal fin. What fin is that pointing at? Just its tail. Yeah. Tail fin? Yeah. We would have accepted caudal fin as well. OK. But we'll take tail fin. That was a nice fish. Yeah, that was, that was, that was a good one. The mound is 60 foot 6 inches away. A 90 mile an hour fastball takes 0.4 seconds to get to home plate from the release of the pitcher's fingertips. That's incredible. So you have 0.2 seconds to recognize whether you're going to swing or not swing, and then you have the other half to swing. You were telling me that you're staring at the pitcher and you're watching his hand, mm -hmm. and as his hand comes up to throw the ball, something in your brain is registering the position. Yeah, the hand position. So like when the pitcher throws, I got to recognize that could be a cutter or slider. That's a curveball or a changeup. And somehow your brain is like 
Ooh, seeing that it. and helping you register whether or not to start swinging. Yeah. Ooh, that's it. <laughs> Show me right the one there. you'd like to see. This one right here, fastball. That's what you want to see. Yeah. If I know I'm going to see a certain pitch, I'll wait for that pitch during that at bat. Even if it means getting strikes and balls and stuff. Yeah. When you get to two strikes, then you just got to put your nuts on the plate and battle. That's about it. I like that. Let's put your nuts on the plate, Pete. Ready? Hell yeah. You're from Florida. Yeah. Florida's home to roughly 1.25 million alligators. How many teeth do alligators have in their mouth at any given time? It's multiple choice. Yeah. A, 12 to 20 teeth in his alligator head. No. 75 to 80 teeth. 150 to 200 and 600 to 700. There's no way. The 150 to 200. Wrong. You spent your 2016 season with the Brooklyn Cyclones. Yes. Which of the following is not a fact about Cyclones? A, they have a strong center of low atmospheric pressure. B, the center is called the eye. C, tornadoes are one of the main effects. And D, they only rotate clockwise. D. You want a bonus? Give me a bonus question. What determines whether they rotate Clockwise or counterclockwise? Which hemisphere it's in? That's Florida. good. That's, That's a Floridian right there. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. As a connoisseur of good food and a professional baseball player, which of the following is not a fine food mentioned in the classic song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game? A, Cracker Jacks. B, Hot Dogs. C, Peanuts. Not mentioned. Hot Dogs. Correct. You played for the Madison Mallards in college. Mallards have an average speed of 42 miles per hour and can fly at over 20,000 feet. Those are all impressive numbers for a bird that's only like 24 inches long. But my question to you is this. How long is the average Mallard's penis? A, less than one inch. Damn. B, three inches. C, Six inches, D, eight inches. I'm, I'm gonna guess A. Incorrect. Which one was it? They have an eight inch pecker. Shut up. No. True or false, the duck's eight inch pecker is barbed. It's gotta be, right? Yeah, it's barbed. That's a hell of a panga. We only know it because we like that fact a lot. <laughs> Your nickname is Polar Bear. Yep. What animal makes up most of a polar bear's diet? A, oh, penguins. B, eggs from ground nesting birds such as snow geese. C, seals. D, frozen remains of 19th century Arctic explorers. I'm going to have to go with seals. Correct. You're hunting in Colorado right now. Yep. With our producer, Giannis Putellis. Which of these is not one of Giannis's nicknames? A, Long Tong Yanni. B, the Latvian Eagle. C, Putellis and Jelly. D, the Latvian Lover. E, Yanni Chimani. F, Janus Putellis. And G, Papa Eagle. I mean, he doesn't like being called Papa Giannis, so I guess I'm going to go with Papa Eagle. Incorrect. We have yet to call him uh, Poodless and Jelly. <laughs> okay, baseball is cool. Badminton is where the real fellas hang out. What bird's feathers are traditionally used for a badminton shuttlecock? A. Grouse. B. Goose feathers. C. Dove. D. Duck. Goose? Correct. Okay, Pete, we've been talking a fair bit about fishing on this trip. I know you haven't fished tarpon, but you were saying you wanted to? Yeah. Which of the following is a nickname for tarpon? A. Old Garbage Mouth. B. Boom Boom. C. Poon. D. Big Ass Shiny Fish. People call it Big Ass Shiny Fish sometimes, but the, the real the answer is Poon. Do you have any idea why? That's correct. Tarpoon, poon, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I but like it. A lot of the times people call it like the silver king because it's just this massive silver fish. I mean, it's king of the flats. It's a force to be reckoned with. Oh, yeah. Everything in your world's visual. There's probably nothing too tactile. There's a lot of things like regarding like grip because I, I like to have a certain amount of sticky uh, when I go hit. It's the same thing when I'm, when I'm throwing. Can't be too slippery. Yeah, you were telling me something interesting earlier that even though you're not supposed to, the pitchers yeah. are putting sticky junk on their hands. I'm not going to say 100% of guys do it, but a lot of the guys, they use whether it be sunscreen and rosin or pine tar to kind of help manipulate and grip the baseball. OK, I'm moving your drink. So if you reach for it, it won't be there. Oh, damn it. Ready? You can't see anything, right? I'm giving you an animal pelt. This is the head end. 
and feel down, and I want you to tell me what animal that's off, but feel it thoroughly. Is this a beaver? That's correct. All right. I'm gonna hand you a bone. What bone is that? So there's like a ball right here. This, this seems like a hip. Keep feeling. I don't know, what is it? It's a scapula. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. so it's a shoulder. But you were good on the ball joint part. Okay, I'm gonna give you an antler. Is this antler from a mule deer or a white-tailed deer? White-tail. Mule deer. Damn. It's bifurcated. Here's the main beam. Okay. And then here's a tine coming off. Oh. But the tine has a split. It's a bifurcated antler. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna give you a gland. You can touch it and smell it. It was used in perfume at a time. No, it wasn't. Yes. It smells like shit. <laughs> no, it does not. Smell more carefully. Take a whiff. You don't smell that sweet? The perfuminess? I, I don't, that's, it's not, it's not hitting me. <laughs> I don't know, that's a good one. It's a castor gland from a beaver. Oh, wow. This is another smell test. I'm gonna give you a plant. Give it a whiff, it's dry. Very common in the West. It smells good. It's not juniper. No. People use it, sometimes they'll season food with it or they will burn it for aromatics. Oh, sage, you burn sage in a house, <laughs> duh. Now I'm gonna hand you an animal call. Give it a toot. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like a elk call, like a cow call? <laughs> Is that a duck call? Close. <laughs> oh, go uh, geese. That's right? correct. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's a rough sounding call. Okay, Pete, you can D blindfold. I do okay? You're doing great. Toss it. It's all about presentation, but obviously, like, I'm not a catcher, but it looks like it ends up right here. He'll call it a strike. And that works. Yeah, it's all about perception. It's, it's a funny game. Okay. We're to the final thing. We're playing Get Toasted. You need to toast this marshmallow. You have some duct tape, you have some toilet paper, you have the sports page. Appropriate. A little stash of firewood, some salt, and pepper, hairspray, file. You have a nine volt battery, and you have a striker. All right. What's, uh, what's baseball smell like? Dirt, fresh cut grass, and pine tar. Where's the pine tar coming from? The bat. Hold on, you can put sticky shit on your bat? Not on the barrel. And you like a bat made out of birch? Yeah, because it has like the right amount of flex to it. No, I want to give you a hint. Imagine that you're scraping some of that shit off there. So you got to go so slowly. Get some magnesium. There you go. You getting a little pile going? Yeah. Oh yeah, keep it going. When you uh, got your first major league home run, were you kind of shocked? It was like a holy shit moment. Because in the minor leagues, there's so many different levels to, to get to the top. But after the big leagues, there's no like moon league. This, that's it, that's the ultimate. It's the, you are the best in the world. Another thing you told me is you believe it's important to stay hard and stay scrappy and stay blue collar. Oh yeah. If that's true, you should be able to figure out how to light that fire. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> I'm getting it now. These are fun because people always carry these things, but they're a bitch. They are a bitch. Damn it. <laughs> You're not going to use the wood. It's good, right? Let me look. I want to I inspect it to see the job he did. Eh. Oh, it's got to be on all sides? Well, you know, my kids cook them for me. They tend to burn them. But it solidified my taste and what I'm actually after. Right. You enjoying it? I got to admit something to you. After hanging out with you, I am very excited for your season to start because I'm gonna officially now become a sports fan. Hell yeah. And I'm gonna watch and I'm gonna like yell at the, the what do you call them? I'm gonna, yell, yell, at the, I'm gonna yell at the umpires. Oh, give them hell, give yeah, them hell. I'm gonna yell at the umpires. 
I'm going to be like pulling for you, man. Thank you. I, I want it to be just. Thank you. No, I, I and appreciate someday that. I'll say that um, I watched that some bitch toast a marshmallow. <laughs> Cheers with our empty cups. <laughs> Cheers. We can have the cherries. Cheers. Salud. All right, let's review how Pete Alonzo did. The first round, pretty damn good. Second round, not as good as the first, but still pretty good. Third round, eh, not so great. And the fire, come on, Pete. Have you ever read Jack London? So, we're gonna give Pete a total score of 397 milliliters, which puts him behind the beautiful and lovely Brian Callen, who got 450. If you like Get Toasted, check out more, plus all kinds of other great content at the Meat Eater YouTube channel. Subscribe.